All right, we got so many robots to get through today. Let's get straight into it. We have uh, a robot from 1412E. Looks like a very, very flat intake. They have a very, very low, very low intake. And it looks so fast. This is such a good uh, first layer here, the pre roller. Only critique I would have is really just, I mean, this sticks out pretty far. You want you want to add some triangle bracing here. I saw XP doing some plastic bracing and also Ace did it too. Look, if you just look at the, the newest Ace robot, they got the plastic uh, triangle supports, you know, run that up. It also protects these chains. You might want to put it on the inside or whatever, right? Because that can very, very easily get snapped. But that's what I'm just, that's what I think this is from quite a half a month ago now. So I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of late on this. But we will be giving this a B tier. Next up, Snacky Cakes. They are the winners of the Lobster Bowl signature event. And I saw I saw them kind of go crazy there. They kind of popped off. So, uh, I mean, honestly, I feel like some insane driving, right? And I like the, I really like the, the, the uniqueness of the robot, but this is not like uh, the most, the most like e e like efficient design that you know I would make but it is very very good I appreciate the the design only critique I'd have for this robot is just the wall stakes right we saw it be not super consistent at at lobster bowl but that's just kind of a given for these kind of wall stakes but yeah they still they still did really well and also the the dwinker there actually if I if you re re rewind this right here the Doinker is not the best at scooping the entire corner at once, but I don't know what they're going for, right? Because some teams don't like to scoop the corner, entire corner. But yeah, you can see here, it's not super good at scooping the whole corner at once, but that's okay. I'm going to still give this a B tier. Next up, we have 225 Tucker. Robot is getting mad cute. Uh, it is. It is getting pretty cute. I think, you know, I think, I think it all looks very nice. I feel like... Here, let me let me let me, let me zoom, in, zoom in on this. I feel like, hmm, oh yeah, I feel like this is kind of weird. I don't know how to feel about the one by one that's you know extruding out here. Hopefully, the C channel here is boxed, because if it's not boxed, then I guess this can bend down and cause some inconsistencies with your thing. But I think they probably have that taken care of. Also, hopefully, this chain isn't just running on the on the standoff here or the air tank to add some friction but that's no big deal i feel like this is still overall pretty good and i like how they they mounted their their guider for the for the rings to come off and they have a they have a, a piston hang pretty nice passive i think yeah you know i think but there's no wall stakes which is like the only only thing that i think needs to be improved that's it. And what kind of wall stakes could they build? I feel like, oh, I feel like it has to be like redirect, which is unfortunate because redirect isn't isn't the best anymore. But oh, I just moved the next one. But yeah, I think I'm good. I'm gonna give this one a B tier as well. Next up, we have bark bots. Bark bots. A lot of a lot of fire emojis. Bark bots. Uh, just want another Cali tournament again. I think they're. Oh, I think they're they're like what two or three three wins for one loss so far it's pretty pretty insane looking at the season so far it's very very nice they have you know triangle braced everything is very well done i think this might have snapped this might have snapped but that's okay they were using a 185 22 r mac you know some of you guys wanted me to explain what, what that really is it's just friction they you can uh it's, it's just like a friction pad up here and then you, you're just running a regular hook but when you raise this to the certain to the point where the hook intakes and the uh, the ring hits the f the friction pad, it stops, and then you can just pull the ring off with this with this mech. But yeah, I like the side plates, looking very very clean. Bark bots. I think I think what only thing that I really really do with like the lady brown bot is just to make it two two ring ca like capacity is two ring, which which is very hard, but you know, I think I think you guys can out you guys out there can do it. I think it's there's definitely some ideas, right? Like especially for for a if you're doing a hood lady brown, then you can really go then you can really go crazy there and get two ring pretty easily. You have compression 
uh, chamber just like what 402B had in their spin up year, it would, would allow you to do that pretty easily. But yeah, I'm seeing very well built, very good build quality here. A lot of boxing, a lot of, a lot of also uh, weight cutting, like a lot of nylon nuts. Very, very nice. I'm going to give this an S tier, our first S tier of today. Alright, next up, born to wall stake, forced to be a phone holder. Wow. Hey, but that those are some those are some tough flicks though. The close up of this clamp. This clamp looks nice. I like the plastic up here especially. You know, that's a lot of that's a lot of work that goes into this, especially cutting out the C channel here. I think maybe is that the slide under other <laughs> I doubt it's a slide under anything, but uh, it's always funny to, to think that this is going to slide under a go clamp or something or a go block but yeah some triangle bracing here for the the poly super clean although <laughs> this is concerning they bent these inwards to fit the the goal which which yeah that's fair but i don't know how i feel about that still i think this is you know something that sammy really uh, was to pioneer this yeah it's for the rings for the for the wall stakes the only thing is it's not it's so hard to line up it's not in the middle of the robot and it's also just overall much much more lacking even compared to redirects so i'm going to give this a c tier but yeah if it's able to you know actually be very com more competitive i think it'd be so much higher because the build quality and everything is so good Nine nine three one nine B, not done yet, but going good so far. It does it does look pretty nice so far. I, I don't know how to feel about the the. Oops, I don't know how to, how to feel about the like the scoop for the for the rings for the, on the hook, the main hook because I I don't really usually see the, these type of ho hooks a lot. I usually see just standoff and then maybe poly or standoff standoff hook. Or, right where like you have like a 90 degree section which is like a standoff but this is interesting i think i saw this on a uh, 1000 a's mall bot i think it works pretty consistently pretty nice hmm. yeah but it's a redirect redirects are kind of kind of falling out of style oh this is from half a month ago but i'm going to still give this a c tier just because redirect guys stop doing redirect also also, these these thirty six teeth low strength might might snap, maybe, they might. But they probably won't. But they might. So, and is that is that your radio right there? <laughs> I think that's the radio. You might want to move that. That's so so out in the open, so easy to be broken. Well, that runs now. But still no wheels. When is he ever gonna have the wheels? We will never know. Well, these are some clean solenoid action, but he's never adding new wheels. He's never adding new wheels. Oh, okay. Never mind. Not clean. Very not clean. Everything is, everything is <laughs> on the outside. Nothing is out here tucked away in the center. Everything is on the outside. This is getting an F tier. <laughs> it's going to get cooked. Like, it's not like horrible or anything, but like everything is on the outside. Where's your, where's your bottom piece? No no bottom piece for the gold to rest on? It's fun to be a magic magic mech again. We've seen so many magic mechs today. But yeah, I mean, I like the, the use of standoffs, but I think it's a little too excessive here, especially here, right? I think if you get hit too hard here or you ram a goal too hard and it's like not like perfectly in yet, you're gonna get this to bend inwards, bend the C channel inwards, and you're gonna like mess up your drive completely because if uh, if you use like 3.25s, so you're gonna have almost no clearance here already. And when this bends in, it's gonna just touch the wheel and you're cooked. So I think I think you might need to might need to invest in some 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 redesigning planning or something. One bar, one bar OP, one bar not OP, more like one bar bad. But let's see. Okay, getting played defense on, goes around finds an opening and puts that ring on maybe one bar op this is a good this is a decent one bar i'm gonna give it a b tier because i haven't seen many any one bars oh okay 
Oh, it's giving a Germany. It's for me as well. Germany needs here. Vids from from Moa. More Moa vids. I think Moa so long ago. But yeah, ten ton. Very clean robot. Definitely pioneering the the redirect. So clean. I'm gonna give this an A tier. However, however, redirects do need to go. <laughs> At least that's what I think because they stick out so far. Two hundred twenty-five Tucker. Another video. This is getting a front view of the robot. Wow, looks nice. I think we gave him a, a B tier before, right? Just because he doesn't have have a have a wall stake neck. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna continue that. But it looks very nice. I think definitely want to get in a wall stake neck here. I feel like if you want, I don't know. I feel like I feel like a six bar could be could be more more compact than a than a four bar one. But that's just me. So I don't know if people have tested that out. Four bar versus six bar. Yeah. The recap is gonna be too long. We're gonna skip to A A twenty nine C S tier because it's so clean. Such a good picture as well. Look at this. We got we got ninety nine percent, and we got eight eight two nine C. Eight eight two nine C has a has a four bar lift uh, hook intake. It's like extra piece bot, but who doesn't like extra piece bot? It's so good, amazing design, very nice, very nice, very clean. S tier, and I don't know. Let me let me see if I can find any any things to be to give critiques on. Not really, honestly. On 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 A twenty nine C spot, I think everything looks super clean. It looks immaculate. I mean, no Doinker, but I feel like maybe maybe that was like when they built this bot was when Doinker was very very early. Mm, you know, maybe maybe they can do two two chains. I don't know. We did two chains last year, just on like the same kind of intake where it's like the motor is pretty high, pretty far forward. But that's just because we wanted to be more safe. But it, it's not like super common to see that break but yeah however i don't know is this a five motor drive or is this a six motor drive because I, I know some other teams who are running this who are running five motor drives so that could be a downside but yeah overall looks super nice so sad they did not win but anyways we have we have this robot this robot is is not <laughs> not as up to par as as their alliance partners however still very nice I think they're missing some bracing here, right? Maybe a standoff, maybe some, maybe like a one by one, right? A guider maybe, and that's what about that's about what I see on the on the front here. Everything looks really nice. Moving on, moving on. Far from perfect, more like perfect. This is such a good robot. I saw this a couple weeks ago, and I was like, damn, this looks clean. This is so nice. I think, I mean, honestly, I mean, definitely it's not like meta, but the off meta builds are so cool. This is gonna get an S tier from me just because I like the lighting I like the look it looks so nice I think there's so much more metal than, than what's like needed like all this stuff could be and I see this kind of even bending inwards a little bit but who cares it's so it looks so nice and also this pulley it's doing nothing it's not doing anything <laughs> it, it's it's not it's not outside the like it <laughs> it's not doing anything like I guess you're your your regular guides your wrist the uh, ring guides can can do some work there but yeah your pulley's not doing anything but it looks very nice and uh, i'm gonna guess the weight on this i'm gonna guess 16 pounds it looks so heavy and i'm gonna guess like 18 and a half with the with the gold filled especially since he's, he's a hood but is that a is it a a backpack because i'm not too sure i think it's a backpack it looks like one and feels like one but yeah, I think we're going to end it off with this robot. Very, very cool. Thank you guys for watching. P. Diddy's situation got worse today. 120 new assault allegations. Anyways, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching.